Guys, let's talk about the Apple Watch and more specifically how you can change the way you type on your Apple Watch. Because you can easily just reply to text or just write any text on your watch, but there are different input methods. So let's talk about that. First of all, there is the keyboard. However, the keyboard is kind of limited as it's not supported on every single version of the Apple Watch. It only works on the Apple Watch Series 7, 8 and all the later models like the Ultra. Those are equipped with much bigger screens, which goes all the way to the edge, and that's much simpler to uh, go ahead and type in. And that's why they could include the the actual keyboard, full-fledged keyboard on the screen. However, if you cannot see it right here, so let's say that you're going to go like this and you want to type in a text message. So whichever text field you open up, you get here and whichever available method is going to pop up. However, if you want to change it, you need to swipe up on it because you can see here is like this drag icon, which you can swipe up on and there are different things. So for example, you have the English keyboard, you have uh, the English scribble option. So that means that if you switch to the scribble, you can now just type words that way. So it's much simpler and like it's definitely, uh, I mean, it depends on which uh, option you like, but you can change it to that as well. Or you swipe up and you can change to a different language. And for example, the other uh, language for me only supports the dictation. So you can see that it doesn't work uh, for every single language. And, and it's like limited to different languages that only support it. So here, if you are uh, in any text field or it doesn't matter what you do, you can always just swipe up and change the text and input methods. For example, next to the keyboard, you also have the microphone icon. So for English, you can click on that and now you can dictate whatever you want. And if the Apple Watch is going to listen to you, you can come back to the keyboard and the text is, text is already typed in. So it works well with English and the popular languages. In order to add the language to the keyboard, you need to add it on your iPhone. So as you know, the iPhone is connected all the way to the Apple Watch and like very deeply connected. So only the languages which are available in the keyboards, you can see English and the Slovak language are the only two which are available for me, but you can add a different one. So you can add like a random keyboard and it just shows up here as well on the on the Apple Watch. But for example, this um, Hungarian uh, language only supports the dictation as well. So it doesn't even uh, support uh, the uh, uh, the scribble option. However, if you live in, a, uh, in an area where your uh, language doesn't support the scribble or keyboard, just make sure to add English into your keyboards on your iPhone. And you can always just switch to English and type in different language as well. I mean, the recognition isn't going to be the same or the best, but you can still use it to type different words in a different language. But for that, you're going to need to have English chosen here so you can switch to scribble or to keyboard. Okay, but if you don't have the series 7 or 8 or the latest models which support the keyboard, you can of course uh, just switch in between uh, the scribble and dictation and stuff. But if you also want to have a keyboard even on the older devices, it is technically possible by using a third party app. Because you can go ahead and install some different keyboards from the App Store. If you just check it out right here, I just downloaded the Flick type keyboard. So you can see it is right here. And it is a keyboard which is for the Apple Watch using which you can actually type some words in and then copy and paste them on a different app. I mean, it does work uh, kind of well, like it's the only option which we have available. Of course, there are like different third party apps, but having the third party uh, keyboard is like the only option which works on uh, the older devices. So you can just type and flick and stuff. So yeah, you can type in whatever you want. and. It's usually pretty precise, but it's not really that convenient. For example, you can just open up the keyboard app, but you're typing text, but where exactly do you type it? Like you type in hello or something and then what? Like you click on the plus icon, you can choose like a different keyboard and stuff, but, but the only option is sort of to send it. 
and now you just go to your messages you can see that we are now in the messages so we jump to the messages and now you need to just choose contact and send a text message pretty much but you cannot use it for anything else whereas the built-in keyboard it just shows up no matter what you do if you're typing notes or changing the name of some files or something it is integrated into the watch os which is much better than like a random third-party uh, app which is available there and the very last option is again by using an iPhone so you can just go to the Apple Watch, just try to type in some sort of text and now once you do you can also get the notification on your uh, iPhone so you can click on here and type in whatever you want from the iPhone which like defeats the purpose because you can literally just use your iPhone to send the text message but it also works this way too so yeah that would be the last option so thanks a lot for watching hope the video helped you out and hope you found it valuable for more content like this for more Apple Watch videos and tutorials make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech and also check out the next video right here thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later.